Who are you afraid of most and why is it Duda? Oh, I'm not afraid of Duda. Actually, I love playing against Duda. Um, and I, the reason I love playing against players like Duda and Richard, uh, or Richie, I should say, is because when I play against them, like they just love to, they just love to have a good, exciting, creative game of chess. I mean, they really are players who just like to play the game instead of being like all about, instead of being basically like theory monkeys, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, they just love to play pure chess. plays d4 um okay so this guy is playing a serious opening what's a serious opening um let's play knight f6 here okay um um yeah let's play a benko gambit let's play a benko gambit all right let's play benko plays knight either which actually is not not that bad it's not that bad of a move i'm gonna go b4 here Yeah, you see, when people start playing real openings, like at this level, it's still not a huge deal. But like when I play a 2000, I have to be careful that I don't just go D4, Knight, F6, C4, G6, for example. Um, let's play D6 here. Okay, let's play Knight, BD7, Knight, B6, next move. Um, whoa, 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 be careful. Be careful with what? Let's go G6, Bishop, G7 here. Play knight b6, I can take with the pawn, open up the diagonal here, keep it rolling. Do I think James Cannon will make GM? Unlikely. Unlikely, but maybe. I just revealed opening prep. What what are you what are you talking about? Let's play Bishop G4 here. What do you mean? I just said I'm not playing I'm not playing the Benoni. That's all I said. He goes A3, I guess I take. He's playing pretty well, actually. Good opening so far. Pretty good stuff. Play knight d7 here. I'm leaking all the prep. What did I leak? I just said I'm not playing the Benoni. Did I say something else? Maybe I did. I'm not sure. Let's just uh, castle here. Why are we playing the Jerome? Yeah, let's go 95. This is big, uh, big info. This gambit is great. Well, you guys, I might play it anyway. Maybe to me, uh, maybe I, uh, maybe to me, the the cost, the 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 cost benefit analysis is worth it because if I play the play the uh, Banco and the candidates and I win that's worth more than twenty five hundred dollars so maybe I, maybe i'm just playing these openings and i'm trolling too because i'm gonna get 500 subs if i play these openings in the candidates so again if i win with the benoni if i if i win with the ben, not benoni sorry if i win with the benko and the candidates um i will uh I, I will have to get 500 subs but a win in the candidates is worth more than 500 subs so again you never know you never know what the realities are okay let's play rook takes a4 here Thank you to Den Ben Bang for the seven months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. I guess I just take a pawn. Everything's guarded here, kind of. Many layers of psychology here. Perhaps, perhaps not. You never know. You never really know. Imagine you have to get 500 subs and you're minus 2.5 after that exact opening. Yeah, that, well, that wouldn't be so great, would it? Let's go B5 here, 96. Keep it pretty simple. Yay! I'll think of Feldrin for the seven months. Feldrin just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. What's your favorite food? Much love here. Is my team settled? Uh, more or less it is, yeah. I mean, I'm dealing with so many different things at the same time right now, so it's kind of chaotic. Um, but more or less, yes. My team, My team is pretty much settled that's all i'm gonna say ding is cheating i would say this about ding situation it's not cheating um i, I mean it, it's it's not cheating they organize a tournament for him so he can qualify but that's that it's like i mean i it's, it's not cheating is the draw counter not working um not yet we, we have no it's just uh for whatever reason i have this the stupid chat symbol next to my name down at the bottom i don't know how to get rid of it um i know someone can tell me how to um how to, how to how to get rid of this uh, silly chat symbol here? I have these like three dots right below the, the zero. Um, 
Oh, maybe I can disable chat. Maybe that's how I do it. Can I just disable chat somehow? Maybe that's how I do it. But anyway, let's go 96 here. It's still legit. He's just not playing top players. Well, you know, I, I feel like that's one of the big dangers. That's one of those things though. like, for example, I could go play a hundred game match against, um, against someone who's like 2100 and I could beat them 50 zero gain 50 points and get to 2800 but there's certain things that you just don't you, you just don't do those sorts of things um but it, but it, again it's not illegal to do that take with a rook why doesn't Magnus set up his own turn to get 2900 because again it's like you're not really supposed to do that that's the thing I mean like okay now what am I going to play here I I I mean I feel pretty safe that I'm not going to play the grob right I mean it seems pretty safe if I play the Grob, I mean, the Oilers in chat probably should gift like 5,000 subs to me. So if I play the Grob, I really have confidence in myself. Let's go C4, Knight C3 here in D3. Stick to the birds opening. It's a bit more solid. Yeah. Knight C3 in D3. I'm going to play the Grob against Fabiano. Maybe I will. I mean, hopefully, hopefully uh, Chuchalov and the rest of Fabiano's seconds are very busily wasting their time watching the stream right now and and uh looking at my openings shouldn't Candace be top 10 ratings um I mean I I go back and forth on the on the on the, on it I would say this I mean I don't think you can go purely based off of ratings because the fact is you look you look at my performance I I went into the candidates or not Candace sorry I went into the FIDE Grand Prix inactive having not played in two years and I mean, I, I just crushed the field in both events, essentially. Like, I had a great result. And so the ranking that I had was sort of out of date. So I don't know what the ha I don't know what the happy answer is, objectively. Thank you to Skills Bags for the two months. Um, because if their tournament's nonstop, you could say it should be top 10. On the other hand, though, the problem is tournaments, top level tournaments are invitation only. So when tournaments are invite only, someone who's like, say, number 30 in the world, they're not going to have that chance to break into the top 10 by ratings. So... It's very hard to come with a, with a happy system. That's just what I would say. It's very hard to come with a happy system that pleases everybody. Art Artemis, you mean Artemiev? Artemiev did not plan the candidates last time, though. You're thinking of um, uh, Kirill Alexienko, different player. That's what you're thinking of. Get a good little dog. Uh, no, you guys, I I love dogs, um, but I will I will probably never. Well, maybe I could now. Maybe now I could own one because I don't travel anymore. I'm in a castle here put pressure on the d file but the reason that i never had a dog growing up was that i traveled too much so to be, be a professional chess player you have to travel pretty much half the year or more and dogs they are like humans they have feelings you know that you, you need to be present you need to be responsible and if i was away all the time it would just be it'd be irresponsible so i'm gonna go 93 here maybe knight c4 next move um or i can even take let's go here maybe knight d6 and I was lucky because when I was younger, my grandmother, she always had dogs. So her dogs were like my dogs in a way. Whenever I went out there and I, I saw her, like, yeah. Sam Shanklin is a huge dog person. Yeah. You said dog and my dog started going crazy. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Rent a dog. Yeah, actually, once upon a time, I thought there was some movie. I forget what it was called. Is it like Muscle of Dogs or something? But I, I actually thought about it, like basically just um, be, be a dog walker or something. Just go take go go to the park with like ten dogs, you know, have those ten leashes. Go to the park and just uh, yeah, just just do that. That's a you know a good honest way to earn earn, earn a living. Um, okay, let's go bishop e three and take on d seven. Actually, we can just trade into an end game here. I just take and go rook d one. Why do I have 25 losses? Because you have to get the rating set to where it's not like plus minus 30 for every win. If you're doing a proper speed run. Let's take and take with the knight. A dog walker for Lady Gaga. <laughs> Funny. Uh, let's go A4, A5, B6 here. It should just be pretty easy. Why don't you have a, a huge elimination bracket with top 64 and then just do a round robin? Um, I mean, that is one way you could do it. 
But again, the thing is you already have the FIDE World Cup, which in my opinion, if you did like you did it slightly longer, I think that would actually be maybe a better way. Okay, so what can I play here that I'm not gonna play in the candidates that I haven't yet played? Let's play C5 on move one. Let's play um I was gonna play the old I was gonna play the old Indian, D5, E5, but he takes on C5, so now I go E6. I guess I'll take on C5. Yeah, this is Garth Garth Rooks. <laughs> I've seen some good names, but this is actually a pretty, this is a pretty original one. Garth Rooks. Really nice. Garth Rooks. That's a great one. Yeah, what a name. What a name. Play Knight of Six and Castles here. <laughs> play the Budapest Gambit. Well, you know, Richard Rapport, uh, who's also in the Canada, he has played the Budapest in some top level games. You don't get the name. Uh, there's a famous country music musician, um, Garth Brooks, and so Garth Brooks is just a takeoff of that. It's 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 pretty pretty it's pretty good. I like it. It's a good one. He's got openings in low places. Yeah, also true. Just for that, let me see. Do I have any Garth on? Do I have Garth on this playlist? Let me see. I I, I don't know. Do I? Let's see. G A G A G A G A. Um, G A R. Okay. Garbage, garbage is the group. I've never even heard of them. No, so let me uh, let, let me find a good good Garth Brooks song. One second. Go over G8 here. Here we go. So Bishop E5 is Queen H4, Queen G5 here. Threaten right checkmate in one. I guess I'll go work CAB night before here. Faces. I have to be honest, with you guys. I actually listened to a lot of country music when I was younger. When I was younger, like country music is all I listened to, which I don't know if that's gonna make everybody lose respect for me or not. But that's actually what I, I listened to a lot of country music when I was younger. Go king e seven. The rook is guarded on um, c eight. Is there a bobblehead of you I can buy? Not yet, you guys. But I have entertained the idea of um, of something along those lines. Yeah. Oh, what respect? Yeah, of course nobody has respect for me, but I will say apparently some people do because yesterday evening I went to the local Publix here where I live and um, people in Florida know what Publix is at, at any rate. So I went to local Publix and there was this kid, he was like 19 or 20, he was like, I think he was like an assistant to the manager or something and like he ran up to me, he's like, oh, are you Hikaru? I watch your stream every day. So um, apparently some people do have respect for me. Okay, I'm gonna go Knight F6 check next move. Um, should be a fork and I should win the game. Thank you to Winner Minator for the Prime. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, let's just take the Queen here. Was it Dwight Schrute? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of sad though because actually, um, so I so I went in there and, and like the kid, he was like he, he was like so excited, so so shocked to see me, and like I basically went when he came to came to where I was with the part where I was shopping in the um. Uh, let's go Knight Schrute. Is this a move? This is. This is apparently called the Amar opening, Knight H3. I didn't even know it had a name, but apparently it has a name. So let's go after Knight F2 here. Um, but yeah, so I basically told him, like, like, I'm okay, I'm shopping. After you know, Let me go check out. After I check out, I'll, do, I'll take a selfie with you. And like, so, so I go check out, but by the time I check out and put the groceries in my car, he was, just, he was, he was already gone, which was kind of sad. Kind of sad. All right, let's just castle here. Okay, I guess I'll play D3, E4 here. 
Yeah, like I, w I went to check out. I couldn't find him. I'm like, okay, I'll put my groceries in my car and then I'll come back in and just see if he's there. But yeah, was it wasn't he? I guess he was busy or something. So yeah. Okay, let's go rookie one here. Build a nice little center here. We have a nice little py mini pyramid here or a hut. Go E5, F4. Oh, he was nervous. Yeah, he was nervous, but still. Yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty pretty amazing. Let's go F4 here. Classic Jabate. Yeah, classic Jabate. Probably thought I ditched him. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to our playlist. Um, do I have any Reba? Let's go for some classic. Uh, my, my, the music that I really listened to when I was younger. Where's Reba? I'm gonna go Bishop H3. Maybe I'll just take and go King H1 here. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll take with the pawn here. Go D4, C3, build an, build another center knight of three. Put pressure on the pawn on G5 here. Do I wear cowboy boots? No. Um, I was looking at some cowboy cowboy uh, some cowboy ha hats recently though. I guess I just take with the rooks he can't take because he's pinned. But I should win this one pretty quickly too. Do I have any Reba? I should. I guess I don't. Um, okay, so let's just take the, with the pawn. I don't have any. Let me just put something random on. Um... What, what, what can I put on this close? Maybe I have some Shania. Okay, let me go Knight F3 here. Maybe Bishop H6 next move and keep rolling. Oh, I guess I don't have any Shania on this on this playlist either. All right, let me just put something random on. Let's keep going. All right, let's go Bishop H6 here. Turn and checkmate in one and end the game. I could have sacked my queen, but it's a speed run, and I, I I don't want to sack my queen. Okay, what's another opening that I can play? Is knight e three an opening? Okay, let's play the sodium. Yeah, let's play the sodium. Um, let's go c three. I'm I'm doing the new meta, which is you go knight e three, knight c two, or knight h three, knight f two. This is the new meta. Let's go g three. You mean do I have Roy Rogers? Um, maybe I do. But I mean that's that's the, no one to hold him, no one to fold him is so old. Just too old for me. Okay, let's go G3, Bishop G2 here. Whoa. Um okay, let's go knight h3 here. Go bishop e3, trade some bishops here. At Jobin's 30, at Jobin's 30, yeah, is 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 the guy from Publix, yeah. Good one, yeah. Funny. Let's play queen d3 here. I have queen d4. Am I back in Florida? Yes, you guys. I'm back in Florida. I spoke about it before. Um, there, there are many reasons why I'm back in Florida. Go Bishop G2 here. Maybe Castles. Maybe H3 even. The Garth Rooks thing still lets you laughing. Garth Rooks is really punny. That was a really good pun. Uh, that was a really, really good pun. All right, let's go e4. Open up the center of the board here. Maybe knight e5. Florida man back in business indeed. Let's go rookie one. My opponent has no development. I've got all these pieces really well developed here. Um, it's kind of crashing through. Thank you, Scotty Ford, for the 38 months. Why am I not at TSM headquarters? Because I've moved back to Florida, you guys. Uh, and as I said, there are there are quite a few reasons. Yeah, this is pretty much over for my opponent. I'm going to go d5 here. 
In every speedrun, the best games are at the start and at the end. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, the best games are at the start and the end, usually. League players partying too much? I, I don't know, you guys. I, I don't follow TSM League. I mean, they've, they've, kind of fallen, they've kind of fallen apart. Maybe Dr. Huggy MD for the three months. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a queen. Take the night. Go check me. All right, what else can I not play? I played the Sodium. I played the Grob. Is this an opening? Let's play the Kadas opening. Apparently, there's a name for all these openings that I've never heard of. So let's play the Kadas. I, I've never, I've never even heard the Kadas opening. I don't know what that. I mean, that's what it says up top. It says Kadas opening. So, I mean, don't don't ask me. I've never heard the Kadas opening personally. I played the Kadas. Okay, yeah. Am I playing random openings? No, I'm playing. I'm playing openings that uh, that I, I fully intend to not play in the Feed of Canada's tournament. Um, if I do accidentally slip up though, and I plan any of these openings during the speedrun in the Feed of Canada's tournament, I will be gifting 500 subs to the community for every single opening that I accidentally play. Okay, let's go Queen A4 here. Knight E5 is an idea as well. A lot of pressure towards the King on E8. Let's take the pawn. I can't play the Bond Cloud. I might play it in the can. It's very true. Yeah, I can't do that, of course. That's a huge gamble. Yeah, accidentally, indeed. Yeah, I'm going to randomly slip in a random opening. I'm going to slip in some opening here. And Fabian and his team, they'll literally watch every single, o every single video. And they'll be like, okay, well, he's not playing this opening, that opening. They'll have their notebook and they'll go, you know, X, X, X. And so I'll forget to look at one of these uh, very sharp, uh, enterprising openings that I intend to plan the candidates. Let's go 94 here. Let's take with the knight. This is actually looking really, really good for me. I have 96. A lot of pressure towards F7. 96 was also a very strong move. Um, but let's just take the pawn, hit the bishop, hit the knight. When will I go for the wooden shield and the candidates? Uh, we'll see. We will see. Chances I'll play one of the candidates. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll play it. Maybe I won't. You never know. I mean, hey, if uh, if the FFL is part of my team, then then obviously I have to play it for him. Okay, let's trade some queens, take the bishop, and just win the game. After all, I feel like also in Pog Champs, every single person played the London that I that I that I helped. Like I have to play, I have to play it in honor of uh, Pokey and Foosley too, right? Because I feel like that's that's what I suggest that they play. All right, so um, I can I guess like yeah, the knight's under attack or I take I collect a rook and win the game. Let's take a king d two and rook c one. Are Benjamin and Reebok part of your team? <laughs> Yeah, good one. Yeah. Play the Petrov for our boy XQC. That is true. XQC when he started, he was playing he was playing the Petrov. I forgot about that. That's actually a very good point. Yeah, he was. He was. XQC, even even when he first started, he he knew the meta. He knew what the best opening was. Okay, let's say take the pawn here on C6. There's a spot left for XQC on the team. Yeah, I mean, I'll always, uh, yeah. For him, anything is possible. All right, I'm going to go work C7, put pressure on the seventh rank here, maybe E4 at some point, and just win the game. Am I going to play the Parham? Uh, Parham, you mean Queen H5, I guess? I, I played it before, but yeah. Go here, create the flying V, of course. Maybe 96 here.
All right, what else can I not play? Okay, so someone said, okay, I don't know why I played D4. Um, what is my next move gonna be? Let's play the Verisov. Uh, let's play the Verisov with Knight C3 and E4. And now I can play the Hans Neiman London with Bishop. I think it's Hans Neiman Jobava London with Bishop F4. Or I can just play the classic Verisov. Let's stick to the Verisov. You know, R, A4, N, A, N. Uh, let's go Queen D3 here. 500 subs, 500 subs. <laughs> play F3 here. I should give my candidate spot to Parham. Yes, exactly, you guys. Except if, even if I chose not to play the candidates, that's not how it works. I don't, I don't get to choose who I give it to. It just goes to the next person by a rating list. Hans Neiman, part of the opening name. I think it's called the Jobava London, but Hans, I think, has improved. Hans has done a lot of work on it as, or, or something. How much would Aroni have to pay me to skip the event? Um, a lot of money. I, I mean, probably for, there's probably no amount of money you could pay me for me to skip. You'd probably have to give me like $10 million, honestly, for me to give up my spot. It's a big league that I'm not playing the Verisov. Well, you guys, at the end of the day, if I play the Verisov and win, I don't care about 500 subs because that means I'm probably playing the World Championship. Go E5 here. Man, already at 50 million in the bank, right? Yeah. If you use two openings that you've used here, will you give to 1,000 subs? Exactly. I'll give 500 subs for every every uh, every opening. So maximum that I could have to gift is what 14. What's that? 14 times 500 because I can't do math. 14. Uh, what's 14 times five? That is uh, seven thousand dollars. Yeah. So I could potentially have to have to uh, gift um, gift uh, gift that gift seven thousand dollars worth of subs. Yeah. Oh no, seven thousand. Wait, sorry, no, my math is wrong. Wait a second, that's not what I. That's not what I said, right? No, it's five hundred times fourteen. So no, that's not seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand subs, which is thirty-five k, I believe. Yeah, thirty-five. Yep. Yeah, no joke, no joke, you guys. Who is the richest chess player? I believe the richest chess player in the world is Anatoly Karpov. Um, and in large part, that's because he he happens to have w one of his houses, I think, was sitting on natural gas or something. So um, he's the richest chess player by, I think, by a big margin, actually. Let's castle here. Good night, E5. Put pressure on E7. Pressure on F6. Not any, well, not anymore. Who knows? Yeah, who knows what would happen? But oh, that's, I'm gonna sack my queen here and just win. Technically, I've got three pieces for the queen, so it should be winning. He's got a tower of power as well. What does natural have to go go with it? Yeah, basically, I think whatever it was, it was sitting on natural gas. And so, uh, wow, queen a4 is a crazy good move by my opponent. I did not think he would find that. Um, but yeah, basically, I think that means that like one of the companies came and gave him a ton of money for the land or something or, you know, paid him to be able to drill and stuff. I need a venomous for the 20 months. Thank you so much for venomous. Appreciate it. Thank you. Google says Karpov's worth five million. No, I mean I that's that's obviously not true. Let's go here. Just take the pawn. Okay, now let's start running with the knights. Let's let's use these knights. Let's take with Chuck. All right, let's play E4. There are more gambits in E4 that are just bad. Okay, um, what is the gambit? Oh, let's play the forcing gambit. This is the uh, ortho schnapps. Oh, he doesn't go D5 though, so he doesn't let me do it. All right, let's go B3, Bishop B2. Have I seen the news? What happened in New York City? Uh, did something bad happen? Oh, geez, at least five shot. I see three in a subway station. Jeez. Shooting explosion, in New York City station. Our station at 
Really? Jeez. Crazy. Okay, let's... I can play e5 and bishop b5. Let's take, go bishop c4. Undetonated device is found. Jeez. Unbelievable. Oh, all right. Let's go rookie one here. Let's go D four here and play ninety five. Oh, why? Why is this world such a terrible place? <laughs> yeah. Let's take the knight here. Let's take here. Maybe take on G seven. Maybe Queen D six. Who are you afraid of most and why is it Duda? Uh, I'm not afraid of Duda. Actually, I love playing against Duda. Um, and I, the reason I love playing against players like Duda and Richard, uh, or Richie, I should say, is because when I play against them, like they just love to they just love to have a good, exciting, creative game of chess. I mean, they really are players who just like to play the game instead of being like all about instead of being basically like theory monkeys, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, they just love to play pure chess. So I really do like um I really do like playing against both of them. It's always it's always fun to play play against them. Fabiano, no, actually there's nothing to do with Fabiano. I've just I've always loved playing players who are just like they just they're just like they're they're gamer. I mean gamers is the wrong way of putting it, but like they just love a good game of chess. Same reason I love playing like Levon, same reason I love playing Shakriar. Is like those are guys they, they just love playing the game they just love playing the game and like yes of course everybody has to prepare uh theory and so forth but they they're they're not opposed to just getting a random position on like move 10 and just like may the better player win